All right, guys, well, we're about 24 hours removed from the eclipse, and I thought, what better way to see if the big bass are stirred up and going crazy than to throw around the Nico Crawl, the eclipse color. So, anyways, stupid YouTube intros aside, we're gonna head down to the pond, see if the big boys are biting. And uh, if you're seeing this video, that means we caught a fish. Alrighty, y'all, while well, we're making our trek down to the pond, as always, just wanted to take a few minutes and say, if you're interested in any of the gear I'm using, I will have most of it linked in the description through an Amazon affiliate link. This rod, the St. Croix Victory, it's a 6.8 medium extra fast and paired up with a 2500 size Shimano Miravel. The rod itself is the most bar none sensitive rod I've ever used and it is my favorite finesse rod because the tip is so soft um, you can really cast you know wacky worms ned rigs whatever very very well and it's almost as soft as like a medium light tip but you've got the power and backbone from it really being a medium so absolutely love this rod if you want just one rod to throw finesse stuff and I got this in a 6.8 because I wanted something short for casting under trees and being a little more accurate uh, in ponds and creeks that I fish. I would recommend this one. Check it out. So anyways, links down in the description. I'll catch you once we get to the pond. All right, y'all, we're down at the pond. It's been raining. The grass is tall. The feet are soaked. Let's hope it's worth it. Give the old Eclipse Nico Crawl a shot. Looks like the water levels up. Like I said, it's it's been raining, so. We'll see what happens. Oh, I was getting it right there. I don't know if that's something smaller, would it felt pretty good. Alright, we gotta throw that back in there. See who was hitting us. Ah, that was not a great cast. Crap. We are 100% getting hit. I just wonder if it's a bluegill. We're gonna catch a fish right here. So this Bass Pro XBX hook is not and does not have as long of a shank. There we go. That's a good one. Nope, not a good one. Oh, he's off. Does not have as long of a shank. And I'll show you right here. That's some hooks I've used in the past. So where it's kind of coming out here. Some longer hooks I've used come up more up here. And that may be the ticket for uh, if they're just pecking at him. Getting a little better hookup ratio, but we'll see what happens. Uh, that's a fish catching gas right there. All right, by that log on that point. So for a little light bait to be able to cast that far. Oh, we were definitely bit, but I was 
Oh, I was checking something. Crap, we had a strong bite right there. Crap, crap, crap. I didn't have my hand on the rod. I felt my phone buzz and I was going to check a text. Oh, something crushed it. We gotta get back in there. We can't just let that go. We gotta get back in there. A monster hit. Whatever picked us there. Man. <laughs> that thing. Like sometimes you say they thumped it. And it's like okay did they really thump it? That one really thumped it. Thumped it like it was personal. Saw that boil come out to get it. I don't know if you saw that boil, but I saw a couple. Just throw right back in there. spot that's usually it is the most productive spot for this crawl there's a, a ton of rocks and I always get a bit there at this crawl so I usually fish all this but Somewhere to be. Oh, there you go. Let's go. That's an actual good one. Yeah. It's not the spot I was going. I'm glad we came here. Oh yeah, that's a good bass. We've been doing a good one. You know, I haven't been fishing this side of the pond as much. Is this where they're at? It's pretty healthy. That Nico crawl right in the top of the mouth. Just like you like. Please don't tell me y'all about to start biting. As I have to go. Tell you what. That is not a decent one. I have not pit one. On the skill. But I just don't really have time. I don't want to put him on the scale. He's peeing on me, but I'll take it. I will take it for you, good sir. All right. Maybe a three pounder or something. All right. Oh crap, I said I put my pliers up. I love these Bass Pro pliers. Wish they'd make them with a blaze orange handle. I'm telling you though, this uh, 
and sit on eco crawl if you have time to just work these banks. It is smallmouth candy to the big ones. That was cool. Or not, this is probably one I hit real quick yet. I thought he was small at first. Because uh, he must have been. Oh, let's get hit right there. Oh, I just flung that one out of water. I took my hand off to just something. Man, they're starting to bite. I took my hand off. He was. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. I would say our bite is heating up. And they are on this side of the pond right now. So that's two fish on two consecutive casts. Oh. What the heck? Oh, it broke off. My line was boogered up. Oh, I've got to go. Maybe that's a sign. That's a sign. <laughs> Quit making one more cast and go get your kid. All right. Anyways, the trip was worth catching that one. We had a couple we caught that got off. I, uh, I would almost guarantee we would have caught one there if we would have drug it across that entire rocky ledge. Because when I've had time to fish it, again, I've never not caught them there. And I usually get a pretty good one. About like that one we caught over here or better. But anyways, gotta go be a dad and a husband first. And a fisherman third. And a YouTuber way down the, way down the list. So anyways. I think the bite was starting to heat up there. Got a couple bites real quick. And on that side of the pond, I see a big boil right there. But we don't have time. So anyways, we'll just have to come back. But that was a good one. Made it worth it. That right there is why we're throwing the Nico crawl along this pond. And almost always this time of day, I just work along that entire bank. And I always, always, always catch them. I did not get to fish this pond. I got to fish maybe, maybe a third, maybe a fourth of it. And I've never been skunked on a day that I threw the Nico crawl. Every day's not dynamite, but I've never been skunked. And to me, that's what I love in a lure. There's a lot of creators sponsored by Nico or who have a deal with them. I do not. I do have an Amazon affiliate link, but uh, that uh, has nothing to do with Nico and they don't know who I am from a can of paint. So anyways, it's just now prime time, but got a got a text that the kids run a little gray temperature. Gotta gotta go pick them up and be dad first. So anyways, I'd rather be super dad than super bass fisherman. But I hope you like that. I don't know what kind of video I will make out of this. Um, but I enjoyed that one. So anyways, it'll be quick. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that like and leave me a comment. It really helps get the content out there. Hey, I'm also playing around with the uh, with the settings on my GoPro. If you have a GoPro and record fishing videos, let me know the settings you like. And uh, if you thought the content looked good, let me know. So anyways, I thought a lot of the, the footage in my other videos was a little flat looking. I bought some on my settings. Hope that made a good video. And this time for real. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.